This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. Nigerian President Bola Tinubu has declared his readiness to host the African Central Bank in Abuja, the nation's capital. He reassured that his administration would work closely with the African Union Commission and member states to ensure the smooth establishment of the bank as planned for 2028. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Tinubu made those remarks at the 37th African Union Summit, which was held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and ended on February 18. Tinubu's administration will engage the African Union Commission in collaboration with member states to ensure that the bank takes off as scheduled in 2028, Nigeria's presidency stated in a press release published on X. The establishment of such an institution marks a significant step in the implementation of the Abuja Treaty, a pact signed in 1991 that outlined the eventual formation of the African Economic Community. The president further emphasized that Africa's capacity to tackle its challenges effectively hinges on its resolute determination, grounded in a firm foundation of profound unity. As a continent and as individual nations, we face strong headwinds and difficult hurdles threatening to complicate our mission to bring qualitative democratic governance and economic development to our people. Many of these obstacles, such as climate change and unfair patterns of global trade, are largely not of our making. However, some of the pitfalls, including coup birth autocracies and the deleterious tinkering with constitutional tenure provisions, are developmental cancers we as Africans are giving to ourselves," he said. The African Central Bank aims to facilitate economic integration by establishing a common monetary policy and a single African currency, as outlined in Articles 6 and 44 of the Abuja Treaty. Its objectives include promoting international monetary cooperation, maintaining exchange rate stability, and facilitating multilateral payments among member states to enhance global trade. The proposed headquarters for the African Central Bank is in Abuja, Nigeria. The president additionally addressed the military coups in Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, along with the decision of these three nations to withdraw from the economic community of West African states. He emphasized that while disagreements over unconstitutional changes in government exist, they should not result in a permanent fracture in regional unity and cooperation. Addressing education, which serves as the primary theme of this year's summit, the president emphasized its pivotal role in devising innovative solutions to the enduring challenges confronting the continent. Finally, Tinubu extended an invitation to all attendees of the gathering in Addis Ababa to the forthcoming African Counter-Terrorism Summit scheduled for April in Abuja. The summit aims to deliberate on the root causes of terrorism on the continent. Throughout the summit, African leaders discussed matters including regional integration, sustainable development, and conflict resolution. Africa has faced challenges in areas such as inflation, accessing loans, and achieving economic integration among its nations. The proposed objectives of the African Central Bank have the potential to address these macroeconomic challenges and contribute to enhancing the competitiveness of the African market on a global scale. What are your thoughts on the African Central Bank located in Abuja, Nigeria? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.